All right, Stan Storm underway. Again, the blue line says the high ranked team, 5089, currently ranked number eight. 28 24 is off, and then uh, 47 63 does a face plant. Now, some robots can write themselves either by themselves, some with assistance. Uh, I'm not sure that's where 4763 is going now. So, Mr. T face down right in the middle of the playing surface. See how that affects the play for the Red Alliance. Now it's a three on two, though. So, Blue Alliance does jump to the lead. Time 24.96. Trying to play some defense in there. 1972, the Space Dog trying to place hatch panels. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing on purpose, but had the effect 2496 getting some of the cargo spheres over into the Blue Alliance. And a red penalty for some reason. Not sure exactly what that was here, but penalty against the Space Dog. That'll charge the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance jumping into a very substantial lead. 75 seconds, a minute and a quarter. Nineteen seven two's got an interesting challenge. They've got a uh, hatch cover kind of tied up in the front of their rover. There's a rule they've got it cleared now here. There's a rule that you can only possess one game piece, even if it's incidental. So they had to clear that in order to be able to compete any further. Forty-five seconds to go now. Very substantial lead for the Blue Alliance. Again, they have advantage of playing a three-on-two. Nineteen seventy-two unable to play at the hatch panel. Blue Alliance shows seven panels on their cargo spaceship, now eight. That's a full house right there. That's all the cargo panels that will fit on a cargo spaceship. 20 seconds to go now, thinking about the end game, of course. And we've got three blue robots up. 10 seconds now. Two red, and we'll just wait this one out. Five, four, three, Two, one. The 89 stays in that coveted number eight bubble spot right there. As we're getting into the last set of plays that most teams will have here today. Everybody gets the same number of plays. Should be nine per team.